What does a high value man look for in a woman? In this video, I'm gonna talk about this because most guys don't think about the kind of woman that they have and how she's a reflection on how he is operating in life. In fact, this is all true for every guy. Your woman is a reflection of your subconscious thinking. In other words, the things that you're not thinking about, the way that you operate is reflected in her. In fact, most of your life is the way you are in your body, your relationship with God, how your family is, and your ability to make money. It's all a reflection of yourself and your inner workings. But really, in this video, we're gonna talk about how she's a reflection of you and what you need to look for in a woman if you're a high value guy to help you move forward in your purpose in your life. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. It's no mistake that if you're a high value guy, you're gonna be looking for an attractive woman. In other words, a woman that can match you at your level in your social status and hopefully in your financial status as well. So one of the first things that they're looking for, is she confident in her appearance? Is she well put together? Does she have a certain level of beauty and does she have a certain level of style and she's confident in it? In other words, she's not getting jealous and worried about other women around her. She's confident in who she is and she cares about her appearance and she makes an effort in her appearance and she doesn't let it slide even if she has children. This is incredibly important for him because he marries her partially on her attractive value, her ability to turn him on. And if she loses this, then she ends up destabilizing the relationship from his perspective. No guy wants to do that, be in a situation where at one point his woman was really beautiful and then she had children and she just completely let herself go. And I can understand that, you know, life gets hard, but for a high value guy, he looks at all life's challenges is something that he can overcome. So he's gonna be looking at his woman, can she do this as well? He's gonna compare himself on how she operates with her life based on how he operates with his life. He's not gonna have this double standard. He's not gonna give her a free pass and say, okay, well, I know she's having all these problems when he's out there every day crushing it in his business and he's maintaining his own health, he's maintaining his own body. And so when he's going and looking at his woman, he expects the same thing from her. Not because he needs her to be this way, but because she values herself enough to want to stay attractive for herself and for the guy that she's with. Just like he would do the same thing for her. The second thing is he's gonna want her to be openly expressive and warm. The high value guy is looking for a woman who is feminine, who can match what he's doing in the world in his masculine endeavors. In other words, if he's out there and crushing it in his business, she's okay with letting him lead, letting him make decisions, letting him go forward and making things happen in his life. She's not gonna give him a hard time with this. In other words, she's okay expressing her emotions and being feminine. He wants a woman who is openly warm and feminine towards other people as well because she's gonna be running around in his social circles and she needs to be able to move around and be able to be engaged in conversation with people. And that brings me to my third point. Not only does she need to be warm and inviting towards people, but she's also a great conversationalist. And being a great conversationalist means that you have to be intelligent. You can't be a great conversationalist if you're just not that intelligent. And so a guy requires this from his woman. Like a high value guy is gonna be going in certain social circles and he needs a woman who's openly expressive, warm, makes people feel good about themselves, can maintain and handle great conversations. Most of what goes on in the entrepreneurial world, yeah, you're gonna get out there and crush it, but a lot of the things you're doing is building great relationships with people. And if he brings his woman around, he needs to be able to be proud of her. He wants other guys to say, wow, that guy's wife is impressive. And he wants this. He wants to be able to show her off in this way, but it's more than just being a trophy. He doesn't want her to be a trophy. That's easy. Any guy can go and spend money and get a beautiful woman to hang out with him all the time. There's a lot of women who don't bring a lot of value to the table who are more than willing to do this, these sugar babies. A high value guy doesn't want that. He requires somebody who can match him in the way that he's expressing himself and how he's operating in the world. She needs to openly express that she is devoted only to him. Because if she's this beautiful woman who is intelligent, openly warm, and is a great conversationalist, she's gonna meet a lot of guys that are gonna try to flirt with her and try to get her attention. And they don't care that she's with you. And what's gonna happen is, is that this guy doesn't wanna bring a woman around that's gonna be flirting or be receptive to the advances of other guys. Even if she doesn't openly like give her the number, if she's like feeding on this, this is fucking embarrassing for the guy. And it's better for him to just not bring her along and just have nobody than to have a woman around that's flirting with his friends. Because a high powered guy, a high value guy needs a woman to be devoted to him and only him. And when she gets advances from these other guys, which she will all the time, she can graciously and deftly maneuver them and make it to where it's a complete non-issue. 
He needs to be able to feel secure in this relationship. If she likes to flirt with other guys or try to make him jealous, the high value guy is going to push her out. He can't have this because it's going to detract from his purpose and detract from other things. And he can't be with a woman who's playing games. And so when she's with him, she needs to demonstrate that she's super devoted to him. And she needs to be kind. In other words, she needs to show kindness to other people. She needs to be warm and inviting. And not in this way to try to be tactical, to try to move up the social hierarchy of the other women in your circle, but because she actually genuinely cares about people. He can't have somebody who's bringing and stirring up the pot with the other women. And a lot of women with these high-powered guys, they like to get into these little cliques and they'll catfight and they'll try to tear each other down behind the scenes. And he doesn't want that. He can't have that. It's going to be a massive distraction. Plus, it's going to wreak havoc if he tries to have a family with this woman. And so he wants somebody who's warm, kind, inviting, and is above the fray when it comes to all this petty bullshit. She also needs to be able to self-regulate emotionally. In other words, there's going to be times when he's going to be gone for long stretches of the time. There's going to be times where he's going to have to grind at work and not really be present for 14, 16 hours every day. He may just come home for three weeks, four weeks on end, and do not much more than just sleep for a few hours, get up at 4 a.m., go grind for a bit, say hi to the kids, and then head back out to the office. This is what happens with guys that are really high-powered. Their business requires so much of them, and they're really putting so much energy and effort into it that when things happen, she has to be able to emotionally regulate. She can't rely on him to emotionally regulate her all the time. He, it's not ideal for him. He'd rather spend time with her, but at the same time, he's got this mission or this business that he's building, and she has to be okay and understand that a lot of his time and energy is going to be devoted to that. And so these conversations need to be had early on that this is going to happen. Now, some guys might have already gotten to the place where like, he had a buyout and he's got plenty of money and he has time to do this. But for the guy that's grinding and building the business, this is how he's gonna operate for the next 10 to 15 years. And he's gonna be operating like this when he has children. My job as a coach is to help that guy spend more time with his kids or in a quality way so that it doesn't like destabilize everything so that his wife also feels like she's supported and heard and understood and that she's loved. But at the same time, she has to come from the other side and understand that he is really fucking crushing it at his work and it takes a lot of his time and attention. And it takes a special kind of woman to be with a guy like that. But, but that's the kind of woman that he is looking for. She also needs to be respectful of his time. Now, what I mean by that is she just needs to be supportive. She needs to be supportive in his vision. She doesn't have to be in the trenches doing the work with him, but at the same time, she should be like his biggest cheerleader. This is one of the big benefits that a guy has in a relationship with a, with a high value woman is that she believes in his vision so that when he comes home, he can leave the war at work and then come home into his sanctuary. But if he comes home into his another war down at home because she's resentful because he's not there or she's not being able to be present because he's thinking about work, one of the things that she can do is be open and supportive of him and try to open him up to say, hey, what's going on with you and get him talking so that they can have this intimacy. And this is one of the things that the woman can bring in this relationship is a sanctuary in the home. And so he's looking for this. He wants this woman to be supportive, respectful of his time, to understand that he's under the gun a lot of the time, and also to definitely bring him back into the family dynamic without berating him or cutting him down, which then just makes him want to sedate and go to work even more and just ignore his home problems because at that place he knows how to win. So he wants a woman who can just open him up in such a way. This doesn't mean that she needs to be a doormat. Absolutely not. She can be a spicy ass woman and she can really nail it to him if she needs to. But at the end of the day, what he needs more than anything is that that's, there's that support. And sometimes he might need that kick in the dick, but it's, the relationship isn't defined by that. And so he wants a woman who doesn't pull and hold on to this kind of resentment, but she gets to the root of it with him quickly. She's emotionally intelligent and she can communicate her needs well. He doesn't have time to be guessing how she's feeling all the time, so he requires somebody who understands her own emotional state. She understands how she is and why she's feeling the way she does. If she doesn't know and she's having these moments, she needs to go and do the self-work that he would do on himself so that he understands his own emotional triggers and traumas and other kinds of responses. Not everybody does this, not everybody's willing to do this, but if you want to have an amazing relationship, this is absolutely required. And so he's looking for somebody who can match him well on this emotional level. Because she's going to be in a lot of it in independent situations in her life or with the children, she has to be somebody who is not a taker. Now, she doesn't have to be like overly giving, although that can be helpful for the guy, but she can't be a taker. She can't be pulling off of him all the time. We find a lot of guys, especially entrepreneurs, executives, they get with these women who are beautiful and they're takers. And they, he's usually fine with it because he's got plenty to give because he's got plenty of money. 
So he'll give her tons of bags and vacations and expensive jewelry and he'll take her on vacations and all these things. And it's fine because he's bringing in the money. But the problem is, is that this woman is a taker and so he never really gets what he wants to return and she learns that she can keep giving him less and less and he'll keep giving more and more. And then because he is this guy who is used to performing and getting out there and crushing, he's like, I'm gonna go crush it with my wife too and I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock it out of the park. The problem is the relationship dynamic gets out of whack. And so he needs a woman who's not a taker. He needs a woman who's supportive and understands what he's doing and not trying to take from him. The world's already trying to take with, from him. He's already beating himself up and crushing himself for his endeavors, for his compelling vision, for his purpose and his business. He doesn't need somebody at home to also take him from him. He wants to come home to a sanctuary so he can come home and be filled up. And of course, in that place, he will fill her up as well. In a healthy relationship, in a healthy dynamic, when two people come together, they fill each other up without taking at all. Just being in each other's presence is a fulfilling and filling endeavor. It's amazing and it's really nice to have when you can come home and you're just with this person or your favorite person and you're just filled up. You hang out for about an hour or so and you're ready to go back to the war. But if he's with a woman who is insecure and needy all the time, then she ends up becoming a project and not a partner. And so many guys, especially entrepreneurs, are so used to being with women who just don't really work on themselves and they rely completely on their beauty. He sees that she could do better, but the problem is that she doesn't want to do it for herself. And so she becomes this project and he becomes a savior. And it gives him a little bit of a complex because he's like, it makes him feel superior. But at the end of the day, he also doesn't respect her or really even think that highly of her. He just, he might love her, but he doesn't really respect her. She has a positive attitude. She's almost infectiously optimistic because his life is completely marred by the war. He's always thinking about work and what's happening there and he wants to get away from it. And so it's better to have a woman who is infectiously optimistic because if he comes home, she's going to be happy. And he can know that she's going to default into a happy mode. And whenever everybody gets down or he gets down on himself, she's going to be boosting him up. Not necessarily directly, but just her attitude and her energy is gonna boost him up. And then from this place, he's gonna feel pretty good in his home. He'll get recharged faster. And so for a guy that's high value, who has a plethora of options with women, a woman who can bring infectious positivity into his life is gonna give more. It's gonna make him feel more free. It's gonna help him deal with his emotional state, not because she's working on his psychology or she's asking him about his problems, just because she's in a good mood. And people who are in a good mood bring other people up in their good mood. And so a guy's gonna want somebody who is infectiously positive because not only is he gonna help him come home to a happy place, but when he's out and about and he's having these social gatherings, she's gonna be optimistic and bring other people up with her. And the last one, high value guys typically have a very high sex drive. And so he's gonna want a woman who can match and desire him at his level. This is incredibly important because these guys who have high value, they can have any number of women that they want. In fact, it's not a problem. Women are typically throwing themselves at them all the time. They're always opening the door for the guy to try to start a relationship or just come over for the night. This guy has no shortage of options with women, and so he wants a woman, if he's gonna to commit to her, that can match his sex drive. And guys that are going out there and highly ambitious and are crushing in life typically have a much higher sex drive than your normal guy. So he's gonna want it probably every day. And so for the woman, she wants to be able to have this kind of relationship with him. She wants to realize that this is a guy, that this is how he operates, and that this is how he wants to have his relationship. So if she doesn't understand how her sex drive works, she doesn't understand how her attraction works, and she's just waiting for things to happen to her, if she's waiting for her things to provoke her into the mood and stuff, and she doesn't know how to work her own psychology, then it's gonna be a problem later on down the road, and a guy will see this. And so in a great marriage, both partners know how to leverage their sexuality to optimize it for the betterment of the relationship and to bring it into spiritual communion. And so this guy who's going to be going out there being ambitious, he's going to also be ambitious with the relationship. He's going to want a badass relationship. He's going to want a relationship that would knock your socks off. And it's going to require both partners to really get clear and dialed in on the intimacy department. Because a guy who's going out there and really trying to crush it in the world, he can't have this kind of a distraction at home to where his wife doesn't want him or does not desire him. This is incredibly debilitating for a guy who's trying to go out there and crush shit. How can he be winning everywhere else but he loses at home? If this is your situation, if you're this kind of guy, high value guy, you're not winning at home, not winning in your relationship, realize that the same things that work in business do not work in your relationship. And I know this because I work with guys like you all the time. In fact, I've had 3,500 guys come through the Broken and Badass program wanting to figure out this particular situation. Oftentimes, many of them are on the brink of divorce or their wife has already cheated on them. If you're in this situation, go ahead. I've got a link down below. Go to brokenabadass.com and we'll help you out.
We'll turn this around next 14 days or help you move on even faster. If you're a woman and you're watching this video, just realize that most guys, are, most guys that are really crushing it in the world, they require these things. And it's not that they are demanding, it's just like that's just the lifestyle that they live and, and to have somebody at that level requires this woman needs to be at that level too. Like she needs to be really conscious of herself and conscious of how she operates and see him and give him the benefit of the doubt and see what's going on. But at the same time, not being a people pleaser and letting him just steamroller because these kind of guys will steamroll a woman. Trust me, I know I've done it myself where what I want, where I want to go, this is all that matters and we just steamroll over whoever we're with and then before you know it, she's like, you don't ever listen to me, you never hear what I say, it's always what you want. That can happen. And so there's a fine line that you got to do as a high value man. Being a guy who's high value is a little bit different than operating in the world like the normal person. You live in a totally different world. The stuff that you do, the goals that you set, the things that you get done in a, on a daily basis, most people can't even comp comprehend. And so what you end up doing is you end up holding yourself back. You don't tell everybody all the cool shit you're doing because they won't really believe you. Or they'll think that you're just bragging or you're an overachiever. And for you, you're just like, no, I just want to run the wheels off this bitch. I want to live my life and do awesome. I want to win at everything. And so this kind of guy requires a different kind of woman. He requires a woman who can match where he's at. And for most high value guys, they have a hard time finding these kind of women. Yes, they can be cultivated in the relationship, and that's fine if she's got the bones. If you want to see a, a video about a woman who has like the fundamental bones of being able to eventually become this kind of woman, check out this video right here. So if you like this video, hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more, obviously, hit subscribe.